Hey guys, today we're going to do a complete guide on how to look after your ski and clean it using Salt Shift products. So here you can see our ski is completely salty, so we're going to use Salt Shift to dissolve all that and remove it the easiest way possible. First step, get something to chalk your wheel. Next step, get something such as a bucket and we want to lift up the ski and put this up. This here is going to allow all the water to flow out nice and easily. So now we're going to fill up our snow foam gun. So using salt shift, you're going to remove all the salt without the use of using a mitt. It makes the job way easier. You get all the areas with much more ease and you're just going to see a lot less corrosion going over time. So first, we just fill up the snow foam gun with water. Then you want to pour in approximately 40 to 50 mils of salt shift. They've got a scale on the back here so we know how much we're using. All right, so my snow foam gun's filled up. What I first like to do is wash the outside. I'll start up the top and work my way down and I'll have a few tips in here for you guys as well. You really wanna make sure you get underneath your trailer on your ski. Salt water always builds up where the rollers and the bottom of your rafters and definitely on your leaf spring. So make sure you spend a bit of time Another note for underneath your trailer, from this side, I'll spray my hub on that side. When I go to the other side, I'll spray it to this side, and that way I'm getting a nice even coating, and then I'll still direct it from this side as well. Next tip, guys, in your jet pump unit. You wanna make sure you get up in here. There's a lot of metal components. Get them through there. So the beauty about using salt shift, it does dissolve all salt within 30 seconds. I'm not needing to use a mitt at all, so I'm not going to be scratching the ski moving salt crystals around as they are very abrasive. So I simply unclick the trigger, just like this, and hose it down. Same process, start up high, work your way down. With jet skis as well, they do trap a lot of salt and soap in the edges, so you just want to make sure you work through all the crevices here. Sometimes I like to lift my bonnet and just give it a quick little rinse under. I also like, now that the ski is chocked up, I run the hose down the footwell like this, and that's allowing all the water and soap to run down to the back of the ski. Now the last spot up in your jet pump. So rinse all that out. To finish off the exterior, we want to get your microfiber dry towel, it leaves a nice shine, also stops a lot of the water dripping in your garage before you roll it away. It's going big, long lines like that. Time to remove the seats. Now a hot tip with your seats, you want to leave them upright and all the water is going to drain out of your seat because the foam within your seat does trap this. Every ski does it. Next hot tip. When rinsing out your ski, you actually don't have to rinse out your engine bay every single time. It depends on the type of riding that you've been doing. If you've been out in heavy conditions with a lot of salt water kind of crashing over the bottom of your ski, such in surf conditions, you may have crystallized salt in there. So if you do see crystallized salt on your engine covers and components, it's a good idea to give it a rinse. Now you don't need to get the pressure washer in there and blast the whole thing out, that's unnecessary. So you can see here, I do have a bit of sand and a bit of salt build up on the front of my ski. It usually comes in towards the front underneath your seat. So again, so if you do have a bunch of salt in there and you do want to flush it out under these bungs, get the hose in there, just rinse it from the side and it's all going to come out your bungs. So we're going to use salt shift engine flush here. It's also designed to dissolve all the calcium and salt deposit buildups within your cooling system. But we're going to use about 50 mils here, something about that. Plug the canister into your cooling system. Very important note with skis is that you turn your engine on first before you turn the water on, and then you turn the water off, run your ski for five to 10 seconds after, pushes all the water out, and then cut the engine. We're just gonna run water through the ski first and allow it to have time to open up the thermostat so your cooling system is opening up again. This is not this is not needed for cedars, just everything else. It's warmed up now. Give it a few, few 
revs like that. Final step guys, you want to use a lanolin spray. So nothing that's petroleum braced. We've got the Soltchiff Lano spray here. This here is your anti-corrosion spray and it's going to prevent everything from corroding. Depending on your storage situation with your ski, if you can, if it's in your own garage and not a communal basement, um, leave the seats off. It's always good to store the skis with the seats off and left in the upright position. If not, if you can find something, just to jam underneath the seat so it can breathe. Because your engine and everything's still going to be warm in there, and when there's heat and moisture, that's just a, a that's just asking for corrosion. So see if you can leave it up a little bit or leave the seats off. All right, guys, that's a step-by-step -step guide on how to clean and maintain your jet ski using the Salt Shift products. If you've got any extra suggestions um, or questions, drop a comment below. Uh, happy days, till next time. Yep.